click, um, I enter, I go from the visualization mode to the design mode for this object. So you can see now it looks a little different, right? Um, if I if I right click and say center graph, it'll show me the this object in the tree. <clears throat> and I just want to see real quick. Okay, so here's here's the object in the tree, and you'll see that. Um, contains a column attribute and a column properties attribute. And this column properties attribute um, contains several variables, one of which is slope. And it turns out that I've set these columns up previously so that they they calculate the slope from the center line of the of a column to the horizontal. So I have that automatically calculated, and it's, and it's uh, going to this variable inside column properties. So if I wanted to, I could basically collect all of that inside of uh, a data sheet. So let me, um, kind of like what we were doing last week, uh, first thing I want to do before I create the data sheet, because I want to I want to make sure that I save this data sheet to my um, my annotations product. And you'll see right now that highlighted in blue is this product in the uh, in the MAR product tree, right? So I want to go back and double click my annotations to make that active, so that when I create my data sheet, it's gonna it's gonna place it in my annotations. Now I select the um, the columns. Select the first one here in the list. Hold down my shift key and select the last one. And you see if I zoom out, I now have all the columns on this floor selected. Uh, I'm going to hit. I'm going to select the. Excel data sheet button, which you should see located in the upper, the upper panel here um, in the middle. Excel data sheet. <clears throat> and um, very similar to last week, uh, I want to, I'm going to have the, I've selected my objects here, and now I want to go to attributes and click report. And I want that, um, I want to report that column property slope. So I go to my IFC property sets, which is the, the dictionary that I'm going to call that attribute from. Then I'm going to go down to my column properties, which is the, a the attribute. Uh, the attribute, um, and then the variable slope. So click OK. So now it's going to take all of these these columns and the ones that it has that has this this property. It's going to show me the slope for those columns. So I click apply. And now, if you look at the bottom here, there's all these columns are based um, are just straight. Uh, uh, vertical columns, and the ones, the sloped columns, in the bottom here are listed, and they show uh, that they range from 82 to pretty extreme 46 degrees from horizontal. So you can see very quickly, I've collected instead of going to those individual columns and measuring them, I've uh, very quickly collected the, the slope information. Okay, so that's. That's good. Save that. Click OK. But um, let's say we have this whole tower. So how do we collect the same information? So we've gone from 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 measuring an individual column, right, to verify some measurement um, of an individual element by using a measurement 
object here, uh, to looking at the whole floor and collecting the, the slope data for all the columns on that floor. But then how do we do it for the rest of the tower? How do we collect all that data? Well, um, you might think, okay, well, maybe I go into each one of these, and like I did before, I load the, I load the column objects, uh, I select them through the tree, and, uh, and call up the, the data sheet. Well, there's actually a much uh, faster, more efficient way of doing this um, by using the search tool. So, first thing we need to do, though, um, is that we have this floor loaded in design mode, but the rest of the model right now uh, is in visualization mode. So, we're not able to access the attributes of the other parts here because we're just looking at them in visualization mode. So, the first thing we need to do is load all the parts that contain columns. So, what I'm going to do is go to Edit search and this is a, the model search tool it's a very powerful tool um, it's something that I think you'll want to continue trying out um, playing with you'll you'll definitely um, find that when you're dealing with large uh, detailed models that saves a lot of time to master the search tool so what I'm going to do here is <coughs> type in asterisk column asterisk and basically that's just like a Windows search uh, it's gonna say um, use this wildcard character to say anything that contains col for column like in this case you see this part is is uh, level 2 structural column so anything that contains col and uh, with wildcard characters next to it. So, and then type under type, I want to I want to put part. So it's going to look for part files um, instead of individual model elements. I want to search for the part files. So uh, now that I've done that, I just click the the search tool down here on the the lower right. And you'll see listed here uh, various objects. These are all the parts contained in this model um, that have columns because I've named the, uh, the parts with a COL designation. So I just hit select. OK. So now all the parts that have columns are selected. And then um, if you don't have this toolbar, uh, this is the representation toolbar. Then I'm going to close this. I'll show you how you can bring it up. You just right-click on your uh, your toolbar, uh, an empty portion of the the toolbar, and you should see um, the ones, the tools, sets that are currently open and the ones that are not. So I'm going to go down to representation and click that, and I'm going to plop that over onto the, the toolbars uh, and you'll see there's a design mode button here so anything that's currently selected when I click this will be loaded into memory and I can call up attributes and edit the, those models so now it's gonna it's basically gonna take everything and switch it from just a visualization mode into um, an editing design mode um, and as soon as that's done, um, we'll look at calling up the, uh, the slope information for the remaining columns. And you can see down here, um, if you kind of pay attention to this bottom bar here, you'll see an indication um, while it's loading of the different parts that are loading into memory. Um, it's always good to, to kind of pay attention to this lower um, this lower portion down here because it, it tells you kind of the progress of, of things. So now I have all these these columns loaded. Now before I create uh, the data sheet, the, the one thing I want to do is 
is be able to also call up 